Top in the morning, chat. <laughs> ripping off an intro there. How original I am, but welcome to I Can Be a Vampire. Yes, another chapter. And you prepare, we're back home, finally. Just as I was starting to put everything together, I heard someone call my name. I know that voice. I, I follow that voice. This afternoon already, I was beginning to think if you're not grace up with your presence. What's all smart I may have hit over his coffee cup? I just love the fact that this is all normal now. The person I heard calling my name was Theo. Theo? Excuse me? I looked around and Bill was there and I found Theo stand by the window unfolded. He shrugged. Unacceptable. A pair should respond to the massacre call in three seconds or less. No force him to call multiple times. Honey? I've been gone for who knows how long. So y'all should be worried for me. Don't be too hard on her. She only got back yesterday. Yesterday, yesterday bruh. I miss you. Okay, I miss you so much, my guy. That's right. Feels like she's been gone for ages. Shakespeare must be wearing her positively racked. We were so lonely without you, Papa. Come sit by me, and my lap's available too. Honey? Yes. I'm joking. I'm joking. Also known as the most dangerous spa on earth. Seriously, Hanji. He's in right as always. Who put itchy powder in your drawers? Welcome back, purple. Uh, are you hungry? I'll spit my. I'll spit my. Oh, I thought he said you spit in his, in, in his sandwich. I, I was about to say, I'll spit my sandwiches with you. Honey, we got a kitchen. How kind. Don't mind if I do. Yes, my guy. Steal that sandwich. That's I. Where do you, where do you come from? And I missed you as well. But I, mi I missed everyone here. I'm sorry. I missed everyone here. <laughs> How many times must I tell you to come through in through the, the front door? Forgive me, I saw Toshiko san though the window I simply couldn't contain myself. That fa that half of my sandwich was supposed to be for purple. Leonardo puffed on a cigar and I miss Leonardo too. Chuckle at my gaze expression. Welcome home, Karimia. I hope this circus does make you sorry you come back. No, no, it doesn't. No, apparently I missed that one particular executioner because that's that's how the story goes. Oh, the scene before me was so cozy normally and it also made me dizzy. My friends were here in this sunlit room carefully and free. But I don't feel like I'm returning truffant after accomplishing what I set out to do. I left my I left my eyes where from where I've been thrown at the floor. Napoleon was watching me with a worried look. Her our eyes met. That's right. He heard everything from Shakespeare. Maybe he'll know what to do. Maybe he'll know what it is that's nagging at me. Hey, Napoleon, can I ask you something? I kept my tone casual, not wanting anyone else to worry, but I didn't get the chance to ask my question. Oh, the dining room door flew open and I crashed into the wall, drawing the attention of everyone inside. Someone stood in the doorway out of breath. I missed you as well. Ah, uh, everyone. Though there was no trace of his usual and angelic smile, Vincent looked up frighteningly pale. Burra, burra, burra. What's wrong? You look like you've been seen a ghost. Don't worry about me. It's Babs. He's been. Okay, honey, Sebastian, take it hostage. Excuse me? Sebastian. Taken hostage? Hold on, Vincent. Catch your breath. Eh. Uh, here, Vincent, have a seat. Now, can you tell us what happened to you and Zababs from the beginning? Vincent sat down as secured and took a deep breath before he began to speak. Zababs and I had a long list of things to buy in town, so I went along to help. He wanted to surprise Purple with a, a bouquet. Me? You've been away such a long time. It seemed like a um, also for celebration. So Spabs and Spencer were in charge of buying supplies. Oh, and then poor Sebastian. It's not your fault, brother. We were the ones who planned the bu uh, baguette, banquet. 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 Blah. Should be sad. We have more important things to do than assigning blame right now. 
sorry, Vincent, go on. Vincent, um, frowned his brow if it replayed the scene in his mind. We almost finished and wanted to buy flowers on our way home. We decided to take a shortcut through a back street. We thought it would be faster, but then someone grabbed me from behind and put a sword to my, uh, to my throat. Oh, okay, that's, that escalated fast. Oh, I put a sword to my throat. Oh, he says I fell from the dining room. He said he'd kill me if I moved, and then... Hello, where are you? Who cares who I am? Well, you should be asking about all my demands, don't you think? Your demands? Your passion play played by the toy house full of the greatest figures in history. Okay, so... Basically, you all know where we, who we are, basically. How did you? Now you're going to scurry home and bring those very important vampires who I told you to, all of them. If you can't do that as you told, I may just have to behead this man here. Master Vincent, hey, hey, ha, ha, off you trot now, like a butler, one little errand should be a piece of cake for you. In my capability as a butler, I have a request. Spaz insists on taking my place as the man's hostage and send me back here. Oh. Who was that man? Just, not just anyone could ho hold your helpless and Vincent. Spaz is so slouchy as himself. Was there some reason the two of you could uh, fight back, Vincent? He had an inhuman aura about him. I can't say what it was, but it felt too risky to fight without knowing what we were up against. He was carrying his sword and talking about beheading people. Oh, don't tell me you brought back Lewis. Oh, don't tell me you actually brought back Lewis at 14th, 17th, I don't know. I didn't like the picture of Vincent. Vincent's words were painted in my head, mind. I want to badly, I wanted so bad to be wrong, but I had to ask. Vincent, did the man who attacked you have silver hair? No, it was dusty pink, almost like a rest. Oh no, exactly like a pink. Literally, now that you mentioned it. No. 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 You took Sebastian? My guy took Sebastian. How did Charles attack Sebastian and Vincent? There's no. I thought he was Lewis. I don't know why some sick and bad thing, thing to do to bring back Lewis back. The last few puzzle pieces slotted him into place. I knew Charles was lying. Once he'd arranged to get me home, Charles Henry would have probably tried to navigate with Vlad. I was willing to bet he asked Vlad to leave the residence of the mansion out of his plans. And with, and this was what ha had gone him. Vlad's, uh, Vlad's brainwashed him and is using him to trap everyone who lives here. Of course, Charles Henry could be also be working towards Vlad's goals in his own free will. The night he brought me to Vlad's castle, Charles Henry has seemed completely devoted to him. I, Lord Vlad's knows was, knows, Lord, Lord Vlad knows what's best for us. Everyone will be happy once this his dreams come true. I want to be, I want to believe he's changed. I don't think all, all the time we spent together was wanted. And all, all, and also, I can't accept the idea of Charles Henry casually threatening Vincent that way, given how horrified he was at the idea of killing. That if nothing else was proved that there was more behind his actions, so what do I do about it? I have to. Save him and Sebastian and everyone. Purple? Purple! Napoleon tapped on my um, tap on my shoulder and interrupted my inspiring thoughts. He took my hand and led me into the uh, um, hallway where we were alone. He turned to me and I looked to me um, looked at me straight in the eye. What do you what do you want to do? I want to Um, I don't know. Stop Charles, like, save Charles. I don't know. I don't know if I can save him, but I know I have to try. I want to save Charles. I have to save him. My words came troubling out. Nepalem gave me a, com a comforting smile. Alright, I hear you. I'll protect you, Purple. We'll go together. Let's do this. Ooh. Ah, scratchy, uh, scratchy head. I'll protect you, Purple. We'll go together. Really? 
You've been fighting on your own to protect all of us. Now it's our turn to, our turn to help and protect us. What's important to you? Besides, a deep loneliness entered in, entered in the Emperor's emerald eyes if he were reflecting on the distant past. I don't know what he's going to uh, going through right now, but he, he wasn't reborn just to return to life of killing. No one's, no one's to blame. We wrapped in us all in a neat little bow and left him holding on to the burden. It's about time that, that changed. Don't you think? Napoleon was right. Joss has suffering long enough. It's time to play a stop to this. That's exactly what I'm going to do. Yes, thank you, Napoleon. I thought in the rest of our friends about the situation on our way to the location. Charles Henry had uh, possessed I told them everything that had happened to me while I was away. I told them about Vlad's plans and my suspicion that Charles Henry was acting under his mind control. I had to cover, um, cover almost everything I could think of by the way we arrived. Vincent, is this the location this Charles Henry person gave you? Yes, Ian's vibes should be here. I had passed the place before this Charles Henry had falls after dessert in the cafe. They say it was a church owned by Vlad. Okay, so Vlad owns the church. I thought it was just false. I didn't know Vlad owns the church. Suspicion that Kate did, um, said that then certainly then hardened into inescapable fate, staring me in the face. We pushed open the heavy doors and stepped into the corridor and beyond. Unnatural silence pressing in around us. We came to a stop to the doors to the nave. I don't know how far mine could go. Uh, control can go. What if Spa um, Charles, not Spabs, has already- Oh, has already killed Spabs! Oh no, we're not going through that. My mind raised and my breathing accelerated. Accelerated. Yep, Leon, you got proper. I'll take the- You take the line with the company and lead others since they're pure blood. Okay. Band when What? Yeah, nothing will kill us. The rest of you, your first- Priorities to protect your own lives, understood? Well then, shall we? Let's go! Uh, Lee come to push open the doors. The nave beyond was bathed. The call by moonlight filtered through the saints. Oh, we're actually here. We're actually at the church. We stood in the cemetery, wearing that radiant aura with a saint. Finally, I was getting so bored. I don't know why I'm trying to say it in a way positive light. Oh great, we all have to wait for a while for this one. Ugh. If only we could just do it now. If only. If only we could. Well guys, this is going to be it. I hope you enjoy it and I'm going to see you all later. Goodbye.